Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. It's a special day with opening day taking place over there in Vale Mountains. And I've also got Jeremy Farina sitting next to me, as promised in the show opening, the author of the book, in the Colorado mountains. Good morning, Jeremy. Good morning, thank well, you for having me. Well, thank you for joining us this morning. So let's talk a little bit, how long have you been up here in the mountains? I started in 2007. I got hired straight out of high school uh, to teach three to six year olds out of Golden Peak. Okay. Uh, I did that for three consecutive seasons and loved every minute of it. Uh, basically from there, I was just kind of putting myself through college. And when I graduated, I moved right back to the Valley because I love this place more than anything. Wow. That's a lot. Teaching the little kids how to ski. What, what a great gift to give them so that they can carry on and have a lifetime of enjoyment up there on those mountains. Precisely. Yeah. yeah. I feel it's the greatest gift that I can give somebody is the gift of learning how to ski and then they can enjoy winter time. So wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Now you got this book out here. How, how did you become an author? Was it something you've always wanted to do? Not particularly. I never yeah. really thought my life would lead in this direction. Uh, I was involved in a club in college. Uh, it was positive movement through Colorado Mesa University out in Grand Junction. Mm -hmm. uh, their mentality was stay positive and just do whatever you can do to contribute positively to your environment, your community. So this just came out of nowhere. I got a song stuck in my head and uh, I was sitting on the lift teaching kids and I was like, I can parody this. So my brain manifested this creation. Well, let's talk a little bit about the book. What was your ultimate inspiration behind that book? So there's an old hobo song uh, in the Big Rock Candy Mountains. There's many iterations of it. And like I said, it just, that's the way my brain works. It got stuck in there and Thanks to uh, my upbringing, uh, Weird Al Yankovic was a huge inspiration to me growing up, and it kind of put parody in my frame of reference, and naturally, this is what came out of it. Wow, wow. So, if you want to, we talked about leading us into, because it's not a, just a book you can read, but a book you can sing. Yeah, precisely. So, okay. I'll give you a little taste. All right. So, the tune, do, 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 do. All right. One morning as the sun came up and the fire pits were burning, down a run came a ski instructor singing, look how I'm a turning. I live in a land that's far away beside a whale of a mountain. So come with me, we'll go and ski the Colorado mountains. That's, that's a taste. Okay, that's perfect. We don't want to give it all away. Mm -hmm. Now, I know we were speaking earlier about after we're done here, you're going straight over to opening day there in Vail, and you're going to be performing out there with all the people enjoying opening day. I'm excited. I'm here to celebrate just as much as everybody else. Let's get that stoke. <laughs> Is that a tradition that you've normally done? Not particularly. I mean, I have a you know, major passion for skiing and the sport, but waking up early is not always on my agenda. <laughs> now, just for the viewers that want to know, heard a little taste of this book, where can they pick this up? Right now, uh, I'm working with the Avon Art Guild, so I will be back here in Avon for this afternoon. I'm thinking starting around one o'clock until around five. I'll be outside performing. If you want to hear the full iteration of the song, please feel free to stop by. I also have copies if you would like one for a Christmas gift for your loved ones or whoever you feel would benefit from Okay, it. we've got all your information, the Instagram, everything up there on the screen. Now, do you see yourself making another book after this, a sequel? I do indeed. Yeah. Uh, so I did want to kind of give a little foreshadowing of that. It was funny, I was sitting on the lift uh, and this guy and his daughter, they were just kind of chatting each other up. And out of nowhere, this child was like, you know, dad, why is my brother's name Summer? And the dad responded, you know, oh, well, your mother's favorite time of year is summer. She loves it so much, she named you after it. And the daughter was like, oh, thanks, dad, I love you. And I was like, that's a total non sequitur, until the dad responded, oh, I love you too, fresh pal. Oh, there you so, go. Uh, this is dedicated to my daughter. Uh, I nicknamed her uh, my Morcella, which is the scientific name for a morel. So that's a little foreshadowing for my next uh, published work. I'm thinking about writing a book about foraging mushrooms because that's a great summertime activity that's kid friendly. And I'm yeah. thinking that's my, next, that's my next creation. Yeah, and I noticed, Jeremy, when I was looking at the back of the book, coming to your passions are obviously skiing, foraging mushrooms, also got into mountain biking too, all those 
mountain activities. Yeah, I think it's great to you know, go out and enjoy the environment. We have a great resource in this community. And the more that I can intrigue people to go out and engage, whether it's artistically or physically, I, cr I feel it creates a more holistic person, you know, a creative outlet, inspiration, all those things. Yeah. Just trying to check those boxes. Now, where are you going to be over in Vail so if people want to come by and listen? I think I'm allowed to be by Gondola One. I'm going to try and make sure that's okay and copacetic, okay. but I'll be around the village performing. Uh, if you get on my Instagram, I'll be posting all of my locations. I would love to hit other resorts for opening day and just kind of promote myself and share the, share the love of the sport. You need to connect with that first chair group that's out there. They're getting all the first chairs around so i'll take a ride yeah. you see me on the side of the road i'm thumbing it <laughs> all right well if you're interested in an amazing children's book in the colorado mountains jeremy farina the author of that book with a sequel on the way shortly but if you want to get out enjoy the festivities of opening day get over and veil just listen for the harmonic music of jeremy and it'll draw you in you can actually enjoy his performance and enjoy opening day at veil mountain thank you jeremy thank you so much all right we will be back with more Good Morning Vale.